Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be posting an update to my branded Bestial Synchro uh, deck list, uh, I guess with the upcoming ban list, or the ban list has already happened. Um, this is just one of my personal favourite decks. Um, not too many changes, but I've just made a, just a, a few slight adjustments in ratios that I think makes the deck just a lot better. But getting straight into it, we have three Fallen of Albaz. Uh, still very important, you just want to see it because we're relying on uh, utilizing Blazing, Blazing Cartesia to fuse a lot of the time, so seeing our Baz is very important, or sending it off of Quem is also um, a good thing to do at times. And then I'm playing one Kit, one Mercuria, and one Albion. Uh, Kit was not something I was playing previously, uh, but I do like the ability that um, by having Branded and High Spirits, you've just got the ability to search Branded Fusion when all goes wrong. Uh, because Branded Fusion is a card that we're only playing at one in the main deck. More as a um, kind of a, a card in turn three to um, push against the opponent and try and go to go for game there. But also um, you can still access it in some hands where you know you might get stopped with hand traps. So just having this kind of searchable brand of fusion with kit is really important because otherwise the only real way to search it is through uh, sending it to the graveyard and bringing it back with retribution, which uh, definitely combo lines that do that as well. But yeah, having the one kit, I think is kind of nice. Um, then going into the spells, um, three high spirits, this card is awesome. It kind of just does a lot. Uh, and then one of us, we've got one Brain Fusion, one White, and one Red. Um, like I said, we're not really trying to lock ourselves into fusions in this list. Um, I play one just as an yeah, accessible target, but then also I do side the other two copies, um, which, yeah, works out pretty well. Uh, one Foolish Burial and one Branded Retribution. There's just a lot of great things that want to be in the graveyard. And uh, I'm not playing Gold Sark in this list to banish the Mercuria. I'm also not playing Tragedy, so a slight decrease in the consistency, I guess, but um, so far I haven't really seen that too many issues with that. Uh, for the Bestials, obviously this is what did take a hit with the Magnemite limit, but it's three Lavellion, three Sarinir, same as before. Um, two Druis, one Magnemite, and one Bestial Alubar. So it is actually one less Bestial than what we're playing uh, previous, I guess we also got the Regained and the Beast. So we are on one less Spistial because we were on the three Lubellion, three Sarenir, three Magnemite, one Druis. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. You still see the, the Bistials plenty um, and they still serve a, a great purpose for the deck as well. And then this is where I'm not sold on this at the moment. I'm playing nine Hand Traps, which is Nibiru, Ash, and Imperm. Um, there's a world where this is Valor. Um, just because it's a monster for like Guardian Chimera, for example. But uh, this is what it is at the moment. Uh, because we're playing six Bestials uh, that are quick effect Bestials, it kind of gives us 15 non-engine spots. And then also like the one branded fusion is kind of like that as well. Um, although, yeah, there's, there's a world where, you know, we, we play things like Talons, Thrusts um, instead of this. But yeah, this is where I've landed at the moment. Obviously, it's just for locals, but yeah, and the non engine can be whatever you want, but there is space for nine non engine in addition to the six bestials, which I think is huge. Uh, having like 15 kind of non engine spots, obviously, the bestials are only good in some matchups, not necessarily every matchup, but yeah, I think it's pretty solid. Uh, the extra deck is pretty similar to before uh, one Sanctify, one Mirror Jade, one Lubellion, uh, one Rudbrum, one Titanic Lad, two Albion. Uh, nothing's really changed here. These are all just still crazy. Uh, we're still just trying, like, I, my personal play style is to summon both of these through Cartesia and Albion and then link them off for seal, and it's really strong. Um, you get great follow-up. These then have been properly summoned, so you can sanctify, bring them back, and it's, yeah, it just, just kind of goes a long way. Uh, then for the kind of additional fusions, Grand Gugnol, Guardian Chimera, and Dragostopelia, these are all just fine. Uh, I really do like Guardian Chimera in this deck. Um, for the Synchros... Uh, Dispata, Baron, and I'm playing Chaos Angel. You probably don't need to play Chaos Angel. There's a world where you just play these two, um, and that's fine. But yeah, I kind of like Chaos Angel just as a kind of like a like a flex spot, I guess. Uh, and then the last two are the, the same links as before, which is Heretic Seal and Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon's really great for 
those like all dragon hands where you can like Lubelion for Bestial Alibar, summon another Bestial, make Heratic Seal, and go from there. Uh, works out really well, but otherwise the extra deck's pretty solid. Um, I've got I've got a side deck that I'm currently testing, um, which is Droll, just because some matchups are just so annoying that Droll just does what it needs to do. Uh, triple Cosmic Cyclone. Um, I wouldn't play without Cosmic Cyclone. And then we've got Thrust. We are just uh, the two Brand Fusion. I mean, these are Thrust targets, and this is the other reason why I kind of wouldn't mind testing Thrust in the main is just to be able to access Brand Fusion. Um, I know we're not necessarily trying to activate it, but obviously if we're using Thrust for Brand Fusion, it means that we've been hand trapped. And if we've been hand trapped, there's a decent chance that we are not fused. Uh, we're not, you know, we might be able to still summon fusions. Um, the rest of the extra deck, uh, side deck, sorry, we've got ta uh, Talents, Herald of the Abyss, Change of Heart, Harpies. They're just, you know, kind of generic thrust targets um, to finish off the side deck there. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do a couple of test hands. Um, I mean, like I said, the deck hasn't really changed all that much, but I'll do a couple of test hands just for those who are unfamiliar. All right, so we'll do a couple of test hands and see what we get. Our first one is High Spirits, Branded Beast, Imperm, Fallen of Albaz, and Blazing Cartesia. So the only thing this hand is really missing for it to be fairly solid is a Bestial. Um, but the High Spirits is actually going to kind of do that job for us here anyway. So what we're going to use is we're going to kind of use the High Spirits just to put a bigger body in the graveyard. Um, that we can banish with Albion to summon out the Titanic Lad. So in the draw phase, we can go High Spirits, reveal Albaz. Um, in this case, it's it's fine to send the Albion. Um, we're going to get access to Albion anyway through this line, so we'll use both, but uh, I think it's fine. Um, it just means that if we do get stopped later on the way, we will get the Albion end phase effect. Uh, we will follow through and oh, we, don't, we don't even need to pitch the Albaz, sorry. We can actually just hang on to that. Um, just use it to put the Albion into the graveyard. Um, the other thing we could do with it, though, is... I mean, we can still... Like, we could pitch the Albaz and grab... No, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the Albaz. Albaz is fine. Because uh, we do need access to it. So we'll, just, we'll do it just like that. Uh, and then we will go to the main phase. We'll normal summon the Albaz. We'll special summon the Cartesia. And we will fusion summon with Cartesia's effect into our second Albion. And then this Albion will activate to banish the Albaz and the Albion in the graveyard in order to summon the Titanic Lad. And then we can link both off for Heratic Seal. Uh, so this is kind of like a bread and butter combo. We're going to set the Beast and the Imperm. And then when we move to the end phase, we've got a couple of effects that we get to resolve. So we'll get the... Blazing Cartesia back to hand. Um, Albion and Titanic Lab both activate. So Titanic Lab, we'll use it to summon Quem. We haven't summoned and used Quem's effect yet, so Quem can dump. Uh, I like dumping Albaz because then Quem represents an interruption as well. And then the Albion will activate as well. And I am a huge fan of setting Branded in red. Um, obviously, we've got the, the, the base is good because we'll be able to tag Seal out for... Um, Magma or Saranir, um, but that's kind of where we're ending it um, as far as like interruptions go. Brandon and Red can do a few different things. Um, the thing that depending on what our opponent does, but I, I really like going Branded and Red to um, get access to the Sanctifier. Uh, Sanctifier is really good to be able to summon back out Albion and Titanic Lab because you can Beast Pop both. Um, which is clean. It just gives you all that, the, the follow-up again with this two effects. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously we've got seals tag out. Quem can pull back the Albaz um, using its effect. Like we could, again, we could discard Cartesia. The other thing we could do is even hold Imperm in hand as more of a discard for the Albaz. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're trying to, that's what we're trying to do with the, the combo here. That's the, the main combo. So glad that that kind of came up as the first test hand there. Okay, so we're our second test hand. We have Nibiru, Bistul Lubelion, Branded in High Spirits, 
Blazing Cartesia and Sarony. So uh, this is awesome. This is going to combo off very nicely. Um, we can go High Spirits in draw phase, uh, reveal Sarony. Uh, it's going to be similar to the first one where we can get rid of the Albion. Uh, and then we're also going to get rid of the Saranir in order to search for um, Albaz. The other option we have is to pitch Lubellion for um, Bestial Aluba, but this will do all of the same things anyway. Uh, so now we'll get the Saranir effect. Uh, and with the Saranir, we can send Branded Regained uh, because we'll be able to access both Branded Spell Traps or the Continuous because um, we've also got the Lubellion as well. So we can get rid of the Lubellion. We've already got the Magna, the Sarony in rotation, so we'll get the Magna Mutt. Uh, now we can fire off Magna Mutt. We can banish Sarony. We can tribute it, oh, declare its effect. Tribute it for Lubellion and use its effect to place Beast. And following that, we're going to have what, exa what just exactly looks exactly the same as the previous combo. So normal, special, Fuse into Albion, Albion banish the Albaz, and uh, the other Albion, because we're going to have access to it here, in order to summon out Titanic Lab, and then we can link off into Seal. And then when we move to the end phase, we're going to get pretty much all of the same effects. So we'll get the Cartesia back to hand. Uh, we'll resolve the Magnum up to grab a Druva Swarm. We will resolve the, the Branded Beast to place Regained. Albion will set the Branded in red. And Titanic Lad will summon Quem. And Quem Effect will send the Albaz to the graveyard. Uh, and so this obviously looks exactly the same as the first um, hand, uh, just with a little bit more. We've got the two branded spell traps. We've got the Druus Worm with Beast, which is nice. Um, we've got Regain to bring back Magnema, which is really nice. So the Heretic Seal can summon something else out. The Heretic Seal could go and summon out um, the um, Shroud Dragon, for example. Um, yeah. That's the second test hand there. Now, this is, uh, I haven't shuffled the deck or anything, this is the, the exact same hand, but I just wanted to show another uh, route you could take. Um, arguably better, I think it plays harder into different interruptions, so it's not as like, it just depends, but this is just another kind of way you could have gone with the same hand. So in the draw phase, we could go high spirits, same thing. So we're gonna do the, the Albion, and Sarony, uh, Sarony, but this time with, instead of grabbing Albaz, we can grab Quem. Uh, Saranir can activate there to get rid of, or send to the graveyard the regain, so same as before. Uh, and then what we can do is normal the Quem, use the Quem to send the Albaz. Um, then we're going to use the Lubellion to search for Magnum. Uh, we're going to summon the Magnum uh, by getting rid of the Albaz. And we're going to, sp oh, sorry, before we do that, we summon the Cartesia because uh, the Albaz is in the graveyard. And then we're going to summon the Magnum by banishing the Albaz, declare the Magnum effect. And we can synchro the Cartesia and the uh, the Magma off for um, Bestial Disparter. Now, if you had access to an Albaz already, uh, let's say that the Regain, the High Spirits or the Saranir, if either of those were Albaz itself, um, this could be Baron and you'd do the, the same thing because you'd have an Albaz in hand. Um, and you'd be in the same, so you need the high spirit to search Quem, but if you hard open the Albaz in this kind of situation where you've got the Quem, you've got the Cartesia, you've got a Bistial, uh, you can make Baron here, which is a lot better because you play super hard into Nib with this combo, um, and you, yeah, you need your opponent to have a banished card for Disparted to be relevant as far as the negate goes. 
Um, but from here, the Quem triggers when we summon the Disparter to bring back Cartesia, and then Bistu Disparter is going to summon back Albaz. And so you can kind of see we've got all the same ingredients as the previous test hand, um, but we can go Cartesia and Fallen of Albaz to summon our Albion. Albion activates to banish Albaz and you know, we can just go to the Albion in the graveyard to summon out Titanic Lab. And then these two can uh, link off for Seal. Uh, and we can tribute the Disparter to summon out Lubellion and use Lubellion to place Beast. And then we move to the end phase again, and we get Cartesia back to hand. We will get the uh, regained to the field. The Magnum will search the Druis. So a lot of the same end phase interactions. The Albion will set Branded in red. Now, the other thing we can always do here as well, um, like we're always setting Branded in red. I, I really like setting Branded in red just because especially for like Sanctifier, to go Sanctifier to summon out the two fusions is always a cool play. Um, but we can always set Retribution there, um, which is really free. Uh, it does mean you have to shuffle back the Titanic Lab and Albion, but having that hard negate can be really worthwhile as well. Um, but I like our friend Red. The only difference here is the Titanic Lab is not going to summon Quem. Uh, the Titanic Lab will instead search for Albaz and just put the Albaz in the hand. Um, just so we've still got it for branded in red plays. Um, and then we're going to leave it there. Um, yeah. Um, so all of the same kind of interactions, except now Regained can actually pull back Bestial Disparter. Uh, it can still bring back Magnum to keep the searches going, but we may want to bring back Disparter. Um, Quem doesn't have the ability to bring back an Albaz in this situation. Um... But Quem can still bring back an Albion or a Titanic Lad at any point. Um, or when, when, when a monster leaves the extra deck, of course. Um, so that's nice too. Um, similar M board, a little bit different. Like the interruptions are slightly varied. We've, we've got a Disparter interruption at the cost of Albaz. But in this case, like we could always just go Seal for Albaz instead of Shroud of Dragon and summon the Albaz that way. So I uh, just want to show kind of a different route with the same kind of cards as to where you could go there. Um, yeah, it does play very hard into the Nibiru, but, um, yeah, if, but if, I guess if you, if you had the Albaz in hand, you could, uh, make Baron instead of the Disparter, and, yeah, it kind of works out fine. Okay, before we finish, I just want to show off one really quick combo. This is using High Spirits and, uh, Bistial. It needs to be Lubellion or Saranir. Lubellion does go a little bit higher, uh, because you do get the Lubellion continue, get the continuous spell or trap, um, but... Yeah, this, this, like, this, this hand doesn't look very good. Um, we'll pretend that like, the Nibiru just could be blank cards. Um, this hand kind of came up for once in testing when these... I drew three talents plus this hand. Um, obviously, the Nibiru's have a stat line, so that might that could potentially change things. But um, what we do is we'll go Lubellion for Saranir. And then we're going to go High Spirits to pitch Saranir. And send to the graveyard the Albion. And we're going to search for Shroud of Dragon. Now the Saren is going to activate and we're going to put Retribution into the grave. So you can probably see where we're going with this. This is just going to be a access branded fusion type hand. Um, but we're going to go Shroud of Dragon, send Branded Fusion. Obviously it puts itself back and we draw a card. Um, just we'll call it a blank there. Uh, and now we can Retribution to bring back Branded Fusion, which we can activate. Um, and now obviously try not to get ashed. Uh, we'll send Albaz and Cartesia. So we already have access to Lebellion here. And that's going to summon out Albion. Albion will uh, perform a fusion... Ah, sorry, earlier when I sent the Albion, that was actually, that was meant to be Titanic Lad. That was my mistake. Um, 
So Albion's going to perform a fusion summon, and we're going to be going for uh, Lubelion. So we'll go Albaz and Saranir, banished, to summon out Lubelion. We'll have to discard a card, and Lubelion will put back itself and the Albaz to make Mirror Jade. Now I'm in the deck. And then, of course, we can tribute the Albion for the Lubelion. Use Lubelion to place Beast. Uh, we don't have access to any other Bestials um, at the moment. Uh, obviously, we drew this blank Druid's home here, but, you know. Uh, we'll go Beast, uh, just because the Beast can be used with the Lubelion. Uh, regain doesn't really get us as much value at this point. And then when we go to End Phase, we've got a whole heap of Grave Interactions as well. So we get the Cartesia back. We've got Albion, we've got Titanic Lad. Uh, Titanic Lad's going to summon Quem. Quem's going to dump Albaz. And then Albion's going to set Branded in red. And yeah, this is just a, a, a really nice board um, with something that's not ideal as really a hand. High Spirits plus a Bestial. Uh, so it's cool that we still kind of, you know, we can obviously do things like this as well. Uh, and again, Branded in red could be... Um, oh, it can't be Retribution, sorry, because we banished it. But yeah, that's just another example uh, that you can do with the deck as well. So even if you know, the hand doesn't work out for synchro plays, you do have the ability to, of course, just still do classic branded plays also. But uh, otherwise, that is going to be uh, just the update to the Bestial Synchro branded deck. Um, hope you enjoy it. Thanks.